So I'm happy to announce that as of today, the folks over at IK Multimedia have dropped not only a new software version of Tonex, but also new pedal firmware for both Tonex Pedal and Tonex One. So the versions we're going to be looking for now over in Product Manager are version 1.7.4 for the Tonex software. And for Tonex Pedal, we're gonna be looking for 1.3.3. And for Tonex 1, we're going to be looking for 1.1.3. And I'm going to take you through all of the important changes that we received in this. It's available over in Product Manager at this time, and you can go and update. And I've got to say, there's some really nice new additions. A few things that a lot of folks have been asking for, and I think you're going to like this update. So starting off first in the Tonex player, we have a few nice improvements. Nothing huge, but just a few nice little workflow improvements. We do have a new dialogue with more options for deleting a tone model when we're inside of a user folder. So you'll notice here I've made a user folder for tone models, not presets, but tone models. JS Mix and Match, I have this one particular tone model in there. If I go over to my trash can, you'll now see that I have the option to either cancel that, as we always did, but we can delete this from our library or we can just remove it from the folder. Previously, if we deleted it, I believe it just removed it from the folder, but it stayed in our library. So now we have the ability to delete that from the library as well. We also have a new preset name edit button that's accessible when hovering over the list or the card. So if I come to one of my presets here over on the preset tab, you'll notice now that I can come here and press this button, which is in rename preset. I can type in whatever I want there and rename it. So when we just hover over this, we now have this extra little button here that's going to allow us to be able to rename a preset in a fairly simple fashion. We also have some new sorting options when we go to our little sort button here that's going to be based around amp name, A to Z or Z to A, or stomp name A to Z or Z to A. Moving over to the modeler tab, if we are hooked up with an interface that only has two inputs, when we get to this stage of the modeling or capturing process, we have the ability to enable or disable mic two. And if you come up here to note, it says now you can swap your guitar with the second microphone if you wish to capture your rig using two microphones. We're only going to have this ability if we are using an audio interface that only has two inputs. So if you plug in with an audio interface that has more than the two inputs, you're going to see the old screen without this ability to enable or disable the mic. By enabling this second mic two now, we can basically unplug our guitar, utilize both of these inputs to capture dual mics without having to take up an input with our instrument input. As far as Tonex Librarian goes, you'll notice that I have Tonex One connected, and there are a few nice options here. One thing they have done is added options to resize and hide or show the columns in the librarian. So by right clicking, we can decide that we don't want the stomp or amp based on buttons up here and we can choose what we want and we also have the ability to resize them so if I want to get rid of the stomps I have more room for my amp so just like we had in our preset and tone model view we now have that ability in the librarian and this is a really great new feature is you'll notice up here when tone x1 is connected we can now access our global setup right from the librarian tab so we can do the global cabinet bypass pass if we so desire. We can set our input trim very accurately instead of having to do it on the pedal. So just like now with our big boy Tone X pedal, I like my input trim set at minus three. I can now come in and very precisely set that for my Tone X one. When I unplug it, it'll just remain there as long as I don't go and play around with that on the pedal. I can set my tuning mode to mute or through, and I can also set my reference for A4 on the tuner. You'll also notice another great addition here. When we do the firmware update, and you'll notice up here I'm on firmware version 1.1.3 for Tone X1, I can now enable or disable direct monitoring with the pedal. You'll notice it has a little info tab here. It says enable direct monitoring to use Tone X1 for play along purposes with its signal sent directly to its output. But disable direct monitoring to use Tonex One as an audio interface and use the computer as the only monitoring source. This avoids double monitoring issues. This is an issue a lot of folks were having. This option only affects Tonex One when connected to the USB. Otherwise, direct monitoring is always active to use the pedal regularly. So that's a really nice addition that a lot of folks are going to enjoy. So you're going to want to go up here to our little gear icon, click the firmware update, and make sure that your firmware is up to date. Although I do think that when you do update update your Tonex software first and then plug Tonex 1, it is going to prompt you to update that firmware. 
You'll see now that I've connected my Tonex Big Boy pedal up here, and you'll notice that it says firmware version 1.3.3. Now, you might ask what the changes are here. Well, we still do get these new changes for Librarian where we can, you know, enable and disable the different columns here and resize them. But one thing that's not going to be obvious and something that a lot of folks were asking, when Tonex 1 came out, a lot of people did latency measurements between Tonex 1 and the original Tonex pedal, and they said that Tonex 1 had slightly better latency. Well, there has been a latency improvement up to 35% when using Tonex pedal in standalone mode and not connected via USB. So basically, we have to make sure the USB cable is disconnected. Now, I did measure this using the Oblique RTL app, and the readings I was getting on Tonex pedal at the settings I used when testing on the old firmware, I was getting round trip latency of 3.188 milliseconds on the previous firmware, and that has now improved to 2.458 milliseconds, at least on my system and my measurements, giving us a 0.73 millisecond improvement, bringing it kind of more in line with Tone X1. So this may not be a big deal to a lot of folks, a lot of folks who are asking for that, and I think some people will be very happy that that has been implemented. But do keep in mind that if the USB cable is connected to the computer, we will not see that improvement. So it's only going to be when we're not connected to the computer and playing with Tonex in standalone mode, maybe on our pedal board or in some other situation. So that is basically in a nutshell, all the new features we have in both Tonex software and in the new firmware updates for Tonex pedal and Tonex one, you can head over to IK product manager, update your software. And after that, you will be able to update the firmware for any of the pedals that you have. And I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to leave you today with one of the latest collections I have for Tonex, which is of my incredible new dog. Dr. Z, Z28 Mark II amplifier. This is my Z20 Ultimate and DI collection. Available at the link below, and I hope you enjoy the music on the way out, and I hope you enjoy the new updates. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. Also, please like the video and share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Thanks again so much for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.